heavyweight title fight between Henan Burrell and Frankie Edgar. Well, DC, you better work quickly here because Frankie Edgar with that patented sprint to the octagon, I know you've taken a page out of his book. It's a wrestling thing, Jay. A wrestlers want to get down to business, and that is what Frankie Edgar is all about. He is jersey strong to his bone. Frankie is a guy that even when it looks like he's out of it, he can continue to press forward and get the goal accomplished. When he got dropped and hurt by Gray Maynard way back before he became champion, right. he was able to build himself back into that fight and secure a draw. And then the second time they fought, same thing, but he was the one that got the finish. They call him the little engine that could because you can never tell Frankie Edgar there's something he can't do. It was about 10 years ago he won the UFC Lightweight Championship in Abu Dhabi, truly one of the fighters that embraced fighting at his natural weight before it was in vogue. The answer, Frankie Edgar, back in yet another big UFC spot here tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter for those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say, he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight championship fight. Edgar is 11 years the elder. Barrow will have a two-inch reach advantage. Now for the official Ladies introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 10 losses, and one draw. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Tom's River, New Jersey, USA, presenting the challenger, Frankie the Essa. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 36 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting, reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight. Champion of the world, Hannon, the Baron Barrow! All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Well, 
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the kick. Edgar going for the leg kick, he misses. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering, nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Spinning back fist. Just over three minutes to go. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice kick. Wow. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Good punch lands. Over and over lands a big body kick. Two minutes now to go in round one. Beautiful body kick. Big body kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Look at Edgar gets the double leg takedown. Finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? If try, try again. If if at first you don't succeed. You try, try again, and this guy is the poster boy for that save, because he shot many takedowns. Working on a guillotine. Oh, nice guillotine there. Take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, I mean, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, nice strike landed there by Hennon Barat. Oh, nice knee. Opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Edgar gets touched by that kick there. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with him. Edgar gets the takedown. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. I mean, how many can he take? All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. And both guys really throwing with authority. to the midsection, you gotta do better defensively. Look at him 
slipped his hip into that kick. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. The left punch is true, now the right hand. He's gonna try to take him down, there you go. Oh, he slams him down with authority. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he's got his back now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, side control now. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. And that's the end of round number two. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He's sitting there on the inside. He's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Oh! Pretty nice double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Edgar. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committed to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to... Oh! Oh! He's hurt bad. Just missed with the left there. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Good work from the top here by Ed. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Corbin. Oh, big knee! So there's the end of the round, a lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. 
he's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Morale gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Can't take many of those, you better check. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots to the body. Edgar's got the tie clinch now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Split the guard. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat streets. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Ground and pound strike is true. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Nice body kick. Finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. What a fight. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, seven seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there he is, the still UFC Bantamweight champion of the world. And you know these 135-pound contenders are all killers, and he disposed of another one properly. I mean, they are all killers, but they're throwing rocks at the throne. This guy is a great champion. He understands the effort that he has to fight with every time he steps 